Hello everyone, welcome to the July 2018 update for Project Gogan. I'm your project manager, Gerard Moroni. So the agenda for today is to just remind you what Gogan's about, what have we done the last month, feedback from you, and important dates. So the goal of Gogan is to deliver smart contracts for the Cardano platform. And coming out of this project, what we're going to be delivering will be a computational layer where you run smart contracts, as well as tools training and documentation to help you use the technology that we're going to deliver. So the last month we've been doing a lot of work on prototypes and models for the side chains, chimeric ledgers and multi-currency. And this is the next step for after research, but before we go into code. Um, and one of the benefits of, of doing this is it provides additional um, evidence and proof uh, for the academic submissions that we're going to be making for these important research areas. For Plutus, we've managed to further simplify the design of Plutus core language and increased confidence in its safety and security by mathematical proofs. We largely completed the Haskell library for processing Plutus core together with a reference virtual machine. We've also refined an innovative proposal that would bring powerful and secure smart contracts to UTXO ledgers. For Marlow, the results of the first phase of Marlow development have been accepted for a peer review paper. And we're delighted about that. We started to formalize the behavior of Marley using theorem provers and have completed first results verifying the correct behavior with respect to contract termination. We improved the performance of the decision procedure by re-implementing in SMT Z3 rather than ILP. For Yelly, we've launched our testnet and we spent a lot of time uh, on this testnet to provide really detailed and comprehensive documentation and materials going to help you to understand the technology and how to use it. And that has included us going to Oxford in the UK to meet with the runtime verification team and record a series of interviews and presentations about the technologies surrounding Yelly. So we're hoping that you'll, uh, you'll enjoy that in the testnet. Um, we've, in addition to, to that, the, the team at Runtime Verification have been working with us on things like the LLVM backend, the Plutus to Yelly compiler, as well as gas model improvements for the Yelly VM itself. <clears throat> for end users and external developers, we have a, a product manager who's joined the team and he's focusing heavily on how to best deliver uh, an outcome that will benefit the, the end users of the smart contracts and the external developers. So we want to deliver, we want to create great technology. We want to make sure that we create the right great technology for uh, the people who we want to, to use it. So that's very important to uh, our work and something we're focusing heavily on right now. In terms of integration, We've baselined our architecture and integration design. And like I said, we've been creating the models and prototypes for the um, chimeric ledger and multi-currency. Uh, and the side chains will, will follow in due course. And as I said, the outcome of that will be something that we can use when we go to start making changes to the code itself. <clears throat> for technical document and education, uh, like I mentioned, we've been focusing heavily on providing additional content and training uh, for you for the, the, the LE testnet. And that's based on our experience for KVM where you, you, you asked for more. So we've listened to and, and uh, hopefully uh, what we've delivered is something that you will enjoy and find informative. But if there's something else that you, you want to uh, have us deliver, then we're more than happy to do so. <clears throat> for quality assurance, we've been expanding how we test things and we're hoping that's going to give you a much better experience but if you do find any problems please feel free to let us know we're more than happy to help. For marketing external communications we've been focusing heavily on promoting Yelly and a testnet in multiple channels. We've done a press release and we're now in the process of starting our post-launch campaign and I'll talk a bit more about that later on. So feedback from you. You are very happy with the um, quick turnaround we had to website changes and bug fixes for KVM. So we're going to make sure that we, we maintain that high standard. You asked for information about the status of test nets. So we started off with something very fundamental and simple, which is a, uh, a red, amber, green status for each test net, which you can now see on the test net site. That will tell you if the test net's up and running, if it's stopped, or maybe it, it's slow because of um, high volume of traffic. 
we built education machine for Yelly, um, and we're hoping that's going to make, as I said, the experience of using Yelly and the Yelly testnet better. We're in the process of completing work now that will allow you to connect to the Yelly testnet using Web3.js and WebSockets. So we're hoping that's going to make the experience of using the test nets and understanding what you can do with it a little bit easier for you. We've already listened to what you've said in the last week, and we're hearing that you 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 enjoy uh, using the test net, but you want more tutorials on Yelly. So we're thinking about that. Um, there's been questions about cross-chain smart contract calls, which I'll be discussing with the team next week, uh, as well as proofs. So proofs of smart contracts are very very important, and we're we're going to look at how we can provide you with some more information about what that means and how it works. And then, uh, like I said a bit earlier, um, our marketing external comms teams are starting a campaign to create greater awareness and to get more feedback from you as a community uh, about, about Yelly itself. So what's that going to mean? Well, it's going to mean things like meetups, live chats, hackathons, and a lot of other things to engage with you. So we're really looking forward to that. So important dates. Well, uh, on the 20th of May, we, we launched a KVM testnet uh, when we said we would. Uh, 30th of July, we launched the Yelly testnet, again, when we said we would. And you can see the, the location there uh, where the testnets can be found. And we, 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 we'd love to hear from you. So please take some time to, to check out the site. Um, and if you have any problems, um, there's a, a location where you can find out how to send a support request. We'd be happy to help. So we have two test nets now uh, demonstrating uh, the smart contracting capability we're going to provide for the uh, account-based um, ledger. We have more tests coming up, um, and I don't want to tell you right now what that's going to be exactly, because I want you to come back. So there will be a test net number three, and I just all I can say is stay tuned, and you'll find out more soon. That's about all for now. We're at a very important stage now with Gogan in terms of what we've delivered. We've got two test nets out there with virtual machines where you can start to really um, start to experience what's, what kind of smart contracting capability we're going to make available to you. Um, the next few months are going to see more test nets and an acceleration of the process of, of integrating parts of the uh, work that's been done so far into Cardano Core. And I'll let you know more about that next month. But also from next month, what I'm going to start doing is um, bringing somebody from the team in to talk with us here to find out more about what they do, um, how they how they work, and how we deliver technologies here at IOHK. So I'm hoping that will give you more of an insight into how IOHK works and the whole process of creating technology. So thanks so much for your time, and looking forward to talking to you again next month. Bye-bye.